Hey guys, so comfort food season is literally upon us and I want to share with you this amazing, easy, yummy shepherd's pie recipe. So let's get cooking. So first I'm drizzling some oil into a pan and I'm just using some sunflower oil. You can use any oil of your choice. I then go in with half a scotch bonnet, onions and some garlic. The scotch bonnet is absolutely optional but I wanted this to be a little bit on the spicy side so I added some chopped scotch bonnet. I then added in minced meat which I had washed and prepped with some lime juice and patted dry. I just went in and broke that down a little bit, combined it with the onions, scotch bonnet and the garlic. I then went in and seasoned with some black pepper, some ginger powder, some dry thyme, just a tad of thyme so it does not overpower the mince, some turmeric which I added because I find it pairs so well with me and just gives it a good flavour. All-purpose seasoning. Cookeric seasoning, which I absolutely adore. It's like ATP from anywhere, Tesco, Morrison's, Asda. And then I combined and mixed so all those flavours come together nicely. Sometimes I find that shepherd's pie can be a little bit on the dry side, so to avoid that. In my recipe, I just added some peeled plum tomatoes, broke that down a little bit and just mixed so it made a nice tomato sauce. And as that boils down, you will see that it creates a nice tomato sauce, so it's not going to be dry. And then I added in my frozen peas and sweet corn and some carrots and just stirred that in. After that, I just covered this to cook and simmer down to release all those juices and got started on the potatoes. So for the mash, I used Maris Piper potatoes cut into small to medium sizes and put that on to boil and added some salt. I then came back after prepping the potatoes and transferred the mince into a deep dish make sure you use a deep dish when you're cooking shepherd's pie very important otherwise it's just going to spill over so coming back to check on the potatoes they are nicely boiled and soft so i drained and began to mash them with a fork before seasoning with some black pepper and some evaporated milk which makes it oh so fluffy and yummy. I then proceeded to turn the potatoes. A method like you would do fufu. If you're African, you know what I'm talking about. This method, I think, gets the potatoes nice and smooth. If you have another method, by all means, use that method. But this one was amazing. And trust me, the potatoes came out really, really well. Once to the desired consistency, I just began layering the mash on top of the mince. So when filling it out, sometimes you might see some of the mints pop up through the gaps in the side. It doesn't really matter. You can just fill up any gaps with extra mashed potato, just like I did here. After that, I went in and just made it pretty with a fork, as you do. So once I felt like that was looking like a pie, I popped it in the oven at about gas mark 7 for about 30 minutes to get that nice crisp crust on top you know that crispiness yes and this is me just serving up a plate and when i tell you that mash was so creamy this was not dry at all it had all the flavors the gravy was moist oh this recipe is a hit guys I 
and of course you've got to taste your own food and i was absolutely blown away guys absolutely delicious yummy hope you try this recipe and i hope you enjoy it do not forget to like and subscribe and share thank you bye